All right, he is the famous founder of Operation Undercover Railroad and the inspiration for the movie Sound of Freedom. But now he's being rebuked by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Church officials are saying that Tim Ballard used the names of high-ranking leaders to advance his own personal and financial interests. 2 News, Paul Nelson, live near the church headquarters with more tonight. And Paul, which leaders are being named? Well, according to Vice, Tim Ballard claims he was in constant communication with acting president of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, M. Russell Ballard. Those two men are not related. Now, the church did release a statement saying that those two men did have a friendship, but that friendship is in the past. According to the Vice article, Tim Ballard claimed Elder Ballard played a central role in Operation Underground Railroad. The article states Ballard also claimed the acting president of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles was partnering with him on other ventures, like groups named Slave Stealers and Liberty 89. The supposed goal of those organizations was to use the popularity raised through the rescue missions to sway people toward the LDS faith. The article states he left OUR earlier this year following an internal investigation into employee complaints about his conduct at virtually the same moment that Sound of Freedom, a fictionalized version of his purported child rescuing exploits, became a surprise box office hit. Ballard is the central character of the movie Sound of Freedom, which depicted the rescue of a little girl away from child traffickers. However, church officials released this statement about Elder Ballard's connection to the OUR founder, saying, in part, quote, The nature of that relationship was always in support of vulnerable children being abused, trafficked, and otherwise neglected. Once it became clear Tim Ballard had betrayed their friendship through the unauthorized use of President Ballard's name for Tim Ballard's personal advantage and activity regarded as morally unacceptable, President Ballard withdrew his association. President Ballard never authorized his name or the name of the church to be used for Tim's personal or financial interests, end quote. The statement also says the church never endorsed, supported, or represented OUR, Tim Ballard, or any projects associated with them. However, in 2015, the church published an article about Ballard saying his faith in Jesus Christ was the reason he founded Operation Underground Railroad. Now, Vice also reported on the investigation being done into Tim Ballard by the Davis County Attorney's Office. We reached out to Davis County Attorney Troy Rawlings, who told us he was not available for a dialogue at this time. You can read the church's full statement on our website, KUTV.com. Reporting live, Paul Nelson, KUTV 2 News.